up on science. Okay. The last explosion was done with only hot water, but a few people want to see exploding yogurt. So let's uh, actually give it a go. I reckon I have a little theory here that if we put some yogurt in and add bicarb soda, yogurt is acidic and that'll react with bicarbonate of soda which releases carbon dioxide. Enough? Maybe not. Bit more? All right, let's go for it. Okay, give it a good stir. Now hopefully that will all start reacting, releasing carbon dioxide, so I have to get the lid on quickly. Would it be quicker if it was hot? The other question, of course, is yogurt going to go everywhere? <laughs> Maybe I should get some goggles. Okay, I'm protected from hot, exploding yogurt mixture. There's definitely a bit of uh, something going on here. I can hear it fizzing. Well, I have to say, yogurt is not a very strong acid. We'd be much better with a bit of vinegar. Maybe even lemon juice. I don't have any lemons. So let's go for the vinegar, shall we? Okay. Are you ready for the explosion? Well, the first thing is, have a, listen closely to this. Oh! We've definitely exploded a bit of yogurt. You want the rest to go? Okay. <laughs> yogurt is acidic because it contains lactic acid. It looks like this. The acidic parts, this hydrogen which jumps off here. When we add bicarb, which looks like this, it has an OH. That OH hooks up with the hydrogen and that creates water. Now that doesn't make an explosion by itself. The important part is what's left behind in the bicarb, CO2. That's a gas. Every cubic centimetre of bicarb, which weighs about 2.2 grams, creates about half a litre of gas. The reaction expands 500 times moving from solid into gas and that's what makes the explosion. So why didn't it work? The internet tells me lactic acid is actually stronger than acetic acid, uh, which is vinegar. Um, it's only 1% though in yogurt, but in vinegar it's only 4%. It's supposed to be a 10 times weaker acid, so actually the vinegar shouldn't have worked. The lactic acid should have. Uh, very confused. I'm wondering if it's because the bicarb can't get to the lactic acid in, in the claggy yogurt. And then once you've made the, the carbon dioxide, it didn't get out very quickly, which is why it didn't pop quickly. Oh, I don't know. The only, the thing, only I thing I can, I can think can... of is we try to actually get some of the runny stuff, the whey off the yogurt and do the experiment again with that. Let's try that. for which you need. All right, we now have strained out some of this stuff. So if the problem is that it can't get through the yogurt, then hopefully this runny stuff is um, gonna be just what we need to give us a good old explosion of yogurt without the lumpy bits. All right, shall we go?
getting cross with this now. I just don't know what's going on. It's possible there's some kind of buffering going on. It's possible the lactic acid is giving away hydrogens, then it's pulling them back again, giving them away, depending on what else is around in the, in the mixture. Um, it's very complicated. The other alternative is that we put a very strong base in there, and that would break the cycle and, and basically remove all the H's, but that wouldn't give us an explosion because that wouldn't give us any carbon dioxide. Are we ever going to get yogurt to explode properly? Build up on science. Look what we've made. Yogurt sort of slime froth.